Have you ever imagined a battlefield where human pilots are no longer required, where deadly drones silently hover, watch, and strike with ruthless precision? In the age of artificial intelligence and remote warfare, two kamikaze drones have emerged as modern war's most feared sky hunters, the Iranian Shahed-136 and the Israeli IAI Harop. But which of these unmanned predators truly dominates the skies? Welcome to Aviation Archives, your hub for the most explosive stories in military aviation. If you're new here, hit that like button and subscribe, because what we're about to uncover will keep you on the edge of your seat. Let's dive into the silent assassin from Iran, the Shahed-136. This drone made international headlines during the Russia-Ukraine conflict, where it was used in overwhelming numbers to target Ukrainian cities and critical infrastructure. Built for affordable and mass deployment, the Shahed-136 measures around 11 feet in length and has a wingspan of approximately 8 feet. It travels at about 115 miles per hour with a reported range of over 1,000 miles. Yes, over 1,000 miles. It carries a warhead weighing around 90 pounds and flies low to avoid radar detection. But what makes it truly terrifying is its use in swarms. Dozens, sometimes hundreds, of these drones can be launched at once saturating defense systems and ensuring at least some reach their target. During the winter of 2022, these drones were used to bombard power stations in Ukraine, leaving millions without electricity or heating during freezing temperatures. They weren't just military tools, they were psychological weapons. Now shift your eyes to the Israeli Harop. Unlike the Shahed, the Harop isn't just designed to fly and strike, it's built to think, wait, and choose its target. Developed by Israel Aerospace Industries, the Harop is a loitering munition. That means it can hover above a battlefield for hours, scanning for threats like active radar systems. Once it detects an enemy radar, it locks on and dives at incredible speeds to destroy it. It's roughly eight feet long with a wingspan of nine and a half feet and features a powerful electro-optical camera system for real-time targeting. The Harop is incredibly precise. In fact, during the Nagorno-Karabakh conflicts, Azerbaijan used Harops to wipe out Armenia's surface-to-air missile systems. In one stunning case, a Harop loitered for more than six hours before striking the moment an enemy radar went active. It's like a hawk circling its prey, and when the moment is right, it never misses. So how do these two drones compare? The Shahed-136 is all about quantity over quality. It's cheap, simple and built in bulk. It's not highly intelligent, but it doesn't need to be. It's meant to overwhelm. On the other hand, the Harop is more expensive, highly sophisticated, and designed for surgical strikes against high-value targets. Let's talk effectiveness. In the Russia-Ukraine war, Shahids were used not just to strike military targets, but to cripple the civilian grid. Hundreds of these drones were launched at once. Many intercepted, yes, but many got through. They weren't just drones, they were a terror strategy. The Harop, meanwhile, has been used with devastating effect in multiple Middle Eastern conflicts. It's known for high precision and is often deployed to neutralize advanced defense systems. Its ability to loiter for long hours and strike the exact moment a radar is activated makes it a nightmare for enemy commanders. So who wins this drone duel? If you're looking for chaos, confusion and disruption, the Shahed-136 is your drone. But if your goal is to eliminate specific threats with surgical accuracy, the Harop is unbeatable. But here's the twist. In modern warfare, it's no longer about having just the best tech. It's about how you use it. The future battlefield is digital, remote, and unmanned. And these two drones, each in their own way, are shaping what that future looks like. So, what do you think? Which drone would you rather have on your side? The brute force of the Shahed-136 or the surgical precision of the Harop? Drop your answer in the comments below. We want to hear from you. And if you found this breakdown insightful, do us a favor, smash that like button, subscribe to Aviation Archives, and turn on the bell so you never miss another moment in the sky. Because in the world of aviation, it's not always the biggest plane that makes the loudest impact. It's the one that arrives silently and strikes without warning. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned, stay sharp, and see you in the next mission.